One of the more common activities you'll find yourself doing um, when the article is getting near publication is uh, making fine changes to the uh, references. So one of the common things that we have to do is make sure that we have the ISBNs and ISSNs available for all the references in the article. So the first thing we need to do is simply go to our article, navigate to our article, and as we can see here, here's our main article. And if we scroll down a bit further, we can see all of our references here, and these are all missing the uh, ISSN and ISBN, as is fairly common on an initial uh, submission. So as we get ready to publish, um, you'll be asked to uh, go back and add the various um, ISBNs and ISSNs to it. Um, as you can see here, there's, there's nothing you can do to, to, uh, to um, make changes to them directly. What you actually need to do is just go anywhere into your main article and, and insert a reference uh, as if you were going to do an insert. Um, we're not actually going to do any insert at all. All we're going to do here is we can look through and we can do an edit. So for every one of our, um, of our uh, references here, we just simply go through, press edit, and we can go through and make the changes. So we can see for this particular reference, there's a number of changes we want to make. So I'm just going to go through and uh, get the for get the reference into the required format. Now we prefer uh, the journal names to be spelt out in full. So in this case, this is a uh, psychiatric services. And I'm just going to uh, go to their website and save me a bit of work and just do a, a cut and paste of the name. And after the name, typically, we want to see the ISSN. So for this one in particular, the ISSN is 107.5.2730. So we'll insert that there. And everything looks good. So once we're happy with the way our uh, reference is looking, we simply save. It will be reflected there. We can come out of our insert reference uh, dialog. Again, we've inserted no references at all. We've just made the change. We can see nothing has changed here underneath. And that won't happen until we do save. So now when we save the article, um, the back end tool is doing a quick check on the XML, reassociating uh, the references with the article. And now we can see everything has been updated. It looks good. Um, it's a fairly tedious job having to go through and making sure the ISBNs and ISSNs are current. Um, but given how uh, you know how many journals and publications there are available these days, it does make life very much easier for readers if they want to go and chase down one of the references and, and follow up through your research. So it's a uh, your time is well spent, I think, for for the readership.